Hey, Ag Teacher Thoughts here. I'm going to try to answer some questions that folks have right now about huckleberries. And I'm going to use the closest analog that I have available to me, which is in the same family, and that is our commercial blueberry. Now, I've got three different examples here. Um, over there, I've got a legacy blueberry. Right there is a Spartan blueberry. And the right here is a newer one to me. This is actually a trailing uh, blueberry and and to me it's a lot more analogous to a huckleberry in uh, kind of the way the berries present themselves the flavor is a little bit different and uh, it's got a little bit finer leaf so I'm going to use this as my huckleberry stand-in so the debate specifically revolves the question of whether or not raking or combing huckleberries out of a out of a bush um, should be permissible or whether or not it damages the plant. So let me give you a little bit of plant knowledge. Now I'll give you a disclaimer. I am a horticulture teacher. I grew up in the greenhouse and nursery industry. Uh, I had a father who taught me all about plants and he was a professor of horticulture. So plants have been a part of my life, my entire life, but I will say I am not an expert on huckleberries but I'm gonna show you the structures and kind of the reasons why I can answer that question using a regular blueberry. So let's look at part of what we've got here and we're gonna look down here on this branch. So with here, um, one of the things that you should be aware of is uh, that with this, there's a couple of different structures um, on our plant. Um, right in through here on the the tip of the branch. Um, we do have meristematic tissue in the form of a bud right here on the very end. And then at every node on this branch, and the nodes occur right wherever we've got a leaf, right? So there's nodes all along on each of these leaves. Every place that there's a node, there's a chance for meristematic cells to differentiate and form whatever structure the plant needs at that time. Uh, so in this case, when we're dealing with a branch, that meristematic tissue could turn into a blossom. It could turn into an additional branch, um, or it could, well, I, technically part of it could turn into a leaf. Now, if we had meristematic tissue underground, then you would, of course, have your roots. But up here, you're looking at flowers, branches, or leaves as far as things that they can turn into. So with that, that meristematic tissue on a, on a huckleberry is, is much, much more pronounced. Uh, it's between an eighth inch and a quarter inch long, and it's going to occur right there inside the leaf. And what it is, is it's a cluster of cells, uh, depending on what stage that plant is in. Uh, those cells may or may not have differentiated, so it could be just a cluster of undifferentiated cells, or they could have been assigned a task and said, you're going to be our branch, you're going to be um, our, uh, our fruit for the next year, you're going to be a leaf, but it's all given a task right there in the meristematic tissue. Now, when you go through and, well, of course, you see where it's located, when you go through and you use a comb, and I'm going to use this damage here for when I got it uh, from the nursery, you'll notice that there's an absence of leaves here. And if you were to look rather close, you would also notice that there is no bud or no meristematic tissue here. So this area has had that meristematic tissue knocked off, and at this point it is unable to form any new meristematic tissue. So for the duration of the rest of the life of this branch, nothing will come out at this node. Nothing else can form there. That tissue has been destroyed, and with this plant, once it's been destroyed, it can't come back. Okay? So if you were to come in and you were to rake that, and you're removing that meristematic tissue, you can't have a branch there. You can't have a leaf there. You can't have a flower and eventually fruit there. Okay? So if we're going through and we're taking a device and we're dragging it through here, we're hitting all of those buds and we're removing that meristematic tissue. Now, one of the things that I've noticed when I've been out huckleberry picking is on 
huckleberries, and this is not very pronounced here on a standard blueberry, but right, if you look right in there, that bud is actually right in there already. And it's only, well, it's less than a 16th of an inch long right now. So it's between a 16th of an inch and a 32nd of an inch. Okay, so it's actually very, very small, but it's right, right in there. Okay, now with those, that is where your fruit and your flower is going to come out of. And if we're going through and we're damaging those, those are not going to be there and they're, they're going to be gone and they're not going to be there for producing our berry next year. Now, in my own garden, we're in Lewiston where the water has been restricted. We've had a lot of heat and I have these, these two blueberry plants here were actually planted uh, this year. So they were planted this spring and they don't have extensive root systems in them yet. And one of the things that I was looking at as I was going through these is this one over here has struggled. Uh, we can't use an automatic watering system, so we're watering by hand, but we've had hot, windy, dry days. And you can see that we've got a zone of the leaf that has desiccated and died. Now, this right now is just mainly cosmetic, although it is cutting down the amount of energy that that plant can, plant can produce. But really, what's more troubling to me, and it's something that I, at this point, cannot fix, is if you were to look into, see if you can get into this one right here. If you were to look in there at those buds, they are actually dead. So this bud right here, that meristematic tissue is dead. So my blueberry here, I can already tell you with certainty, next year in that location, there will be no fruit, okay? No flower, no branch, no fruit. In fact, as I looked around on this bush and I looked at some of the, uh, the nodes and looked at the buds that are there, the majority of them are dead. So this blueberry for us next year is not going to produce, okay? So if we can extrapolate that forward to our huckleberry, and we'll come back over here to this one, if you go through and you run that rake down the edge of that branch and you pull off those berries and you crush, knock, dent, damage, kill any of those cells in those buds, you're killing next year's blossoms, next year's leaves and next year's branches. Okay, and this is tissue that again, in certain areas cannot be replaced. If it's damaged too much, it cannot be replaced. It's not there to come back next year. Now, when I do get out to the, the mountains, I'll go ahead and shoot another video. I'll go ahead and pull some buds and I'll dissect them out and I'll show you the mare stem that will be in that. And if I can differentiate uh, the blossoms, I'll show you. Uh, but even at this point, they're gonna at least be small clusters of cells, but they've already differentiated into what they're going to be next year. So this is kind of one of those things that once you understand the science and the uh, morphology of a plant, um, you can understand kind of how it's going to be impacted with other things down the line. Okay, so I hope that answers a question. Uh, yes, raking is bad for the plant. It kills the meristematic tissue, which is going to limit your fruiting for the next year branching and basically can stunt the plant for many, many years. So if you have further questions, I'd be happy to answer those, but I hope that is a little bit more of a logical explanation where you can see what's going on. All right, this is Ag Teacher Thoughts, out.